I'm Ashley Esqueda, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today I'm going to show you gestures on your iPad in iOS 5. Now iOS 5 is the newest software update from Apple that is for your iPad, your iPhone, and the iPod Touch. And one of the best parts about it for iPad, though, is that they've added multi-touch gestures. So if you're familiar with what a multi-touch gesture is, it's actually when you use multiple fingers to manipulate what's going on on your screen. So let's check out the three major gestures that you're gonna see on your iPad too. As of right now, Apple is only allowing multi-touch gestures on the second generation iPad. So if you have a first generation iPad, which is the original, you're out of luck for now, but we'll let you know if they change that. So there are three major gestures that you can check out while you're on your iPad and you're on iOS 5. The first gesture we'll look at is a four finger swipe up and down, which will open up your multitasking bar on your iPad too. So when you swipe up, you can see all the apps that you currently have open and you can switch to them at your leisure. And if you'd like to hide it, just swipe down. The second one is a back and forth with four fingers left to right and what that does is if you have an app open and there's some other app that you have available and open that you would like to use, you can swipe to it very simply by using four fingers left or four fingers right. And the last one is if you'd like to go back to the home screen and you don't quite feel like you want to push the home button, all you have to do is use all five of your fingers and just squeeze your screen down, you pinch it and it will take you right back to the home screen and you're all set to start over again, open any app that you feel like and that's the three main gestures on your iPad 2 and iOS 5. That's been Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.